Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Joan David. Today we're going to talk about the Galaxy Dex mode. Well, the Samsung Galaxy Dex is a very cool and useful feature available on the flagship Galaxy S models or the Node models since the Galaxy S8. Now, even though it might be a blown up Android at its core, but once you use it with things like keyboard and mouse, then you're going to find it like it is even more than just a blown up Android. And I'm going to tell you why I love the Dex. So I've been using the Dex primarily as my main computer replacement for about a year now on more specifically on the Galaxy S9 Plus. And I use the phone only for that purpose. And I will talk about that experience and some cool things about that S9 or that S9 Plus in a future video. So subscribe for that or come back to this channel in the future. Anyway, I will suggest you to use a normal 1080p 16 inch to 9 monitor to use Dex. If you are thinking of using Dex as a computer replacement. It even has option for the 21 is to 9 ultra wide or 16 is to 10 monitors as well, up to 1440p resolution. So let me tell you today why I fell in love with this minimal, simple, instant and stupid DEX. So I had a MacBook of my friend which I was using to build my website. But the MacBook actually died on me when I was trying to do some things with the bootcamp. So that time I needed something to replace this whole Windows computer or Mac OS need. When I tried to look at the budget laptops, Windows laptops to just maintain and upgrade my website time to time, I was like, okay, I know how this is gonna perform. So I thought like, let's give the Dex a try. And I didn't like some of the things here and there, but then I started to build my website on the Chrome with desktop mode turned on using the Dex. And it took three days for me to build it from the ground up. It shocked the f out of me. I was like, wait, what? How? There was no lag, crash, or even a, a stutter or anything like that. I was expecting those things. I just don't know how it was so stable when my iPad used to crash that Safari every time. Now that's the time I committed myself to using the Dex every day. I use it to do basic things like basic YouTube playing, music, while I'm editing videos on my iPad, or even browsing website. And sometimes I even wrote many scripts and articles for my YouTube as well as my website using the Dex. Now that doesn't mean everything is perfect. After all, it's basically Android at its core and some apps really don't scale properly. So you have to use in a mobile friendly aspect ratio. Uh, not an issue for me, but for some people it will be. Now for some apps like Chrome, WhatsApp, Play Store, YouTube Music, YouTube or even Netflix are very well optimized. But something like Google Podcast app or Apple Music aren't. Uh, they need restart every time you make them full screen or small screen. And that's kind of annoying. But on top of that, you have to enable another option in the Dex lab going in, inside the settings. So yeah, but on top of that, if Chrome is giving you troubles, then you have the option for Samsung internet, which is actually pretty cool. And when I sold my iPhone XS Max, I put the second SIM card inside the Galaxy S9 Plus because I just wanted to use it as a phone as well. You know what? I was too much into Apple ecosystem once. Then I felt like, I was missing something. I was missing Android quite a lot. I just don't know. Now, after putting the SIM card in, I was able to take calls, messages, do chat with friends using the Dex. And the best part is you can see all the notifications. Screenshot button is there if you want that. You can also control the home devices, change the music output device with specific volume control options, and also use on-screen keyboard when necessary. So just everything is there. So it kind of became my work and play device. But there is one big issue with this. It might be because my S9 Plus was old, the Exynos processor, you know, and it has less RAM. Like opening up a heavy website on Chrome can eat up a lot of space on the RAM. That means switching between tabs aren't always the best things. But if you use Samsung internet, you can load up to five windows, not talking about tabs. You can load up to five windows, which can be insanely useful for a lot of people. And once I needed to open three windows side by side, and then I was watching something on YouTube, also chatting with my friend on WhatsApp. So it was kind of cool. It has one other limitation that is it can only allow up to five windows at a time, which does feel limiting to whoever using an ultra wide monitor. For me, I think I need at least six windows, but yeah, I'm okay with five as well. Most of the time I'm okay with five. Now there are other useful features like locking application so it will not leave the RAM anyway. Now that means it will launch the app fast and occupy the RAM for as long as you don't close it manually. 
Now you can put apps on the home screen or, or pin them onto the taskbar, quite a lot of, and you can press the recent button to go to the recent apps or switch using Alt plus tab, like the Mac OS. And there's so much of keyboard shortcuts to use, a lot of. And to be honest, it is really fast and snappy, even on an Exynos S9 Plus, like old processor, but still it's just doing it. Now you can also do lock the decks and use un unlocking features like um, the fingerprint scanner or any biometric system that is available on your phone. It's kind of like unlocking the phone and then using the decks. It's kind of like that. Locking the decks means locking the phone. Or alternatively, you can use the pin, password, pattern, or whatever you have. So I will suggest you to give it a try and use it for your types of works and then decide whether you want to ditch your laptop for this or not. I mean, if you can, it surely is a good one. Like for me, I use Apple Notes, so I can use Apple Notes using Chrome, but the experience isn't smooth. And sometimes it's even slow and clunky that it's totally unusable sometimes. And it is actually because of Apple. Whereas if I use Google Doc app or using the Google Doc app web, then it's all fantastic. Now you can also use DeX for Microsoft applications like Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, or even the whole Microsoft Suite, Office Suite. Yeah, with, through the official app route, you can just do it. You can also use Lightroom for quite a bit of food editing if you want, but nothing professional, but yeah, you can do it. But if you want, you can use Photo P, which will make the whole experience totally amazing. Due to it being a br browser based on, it might not be so smooth, it's certainly usable, it's certainly cool. I just love this thing. Now definitely you can't do anything professional working over here, but certainly to us you know, talented people, they can do more than what I can do on Dex with using all these tools. Now as for editing videos, I will suggest you an app called the VN. Now, if Lua Fusion will arrive in the future, I will surely gonna edit one of my videos using it and I will share the experience. But as for now, VN is the way. Now, the VN is totally usable if you wanna use for casual video editing or even normal YouTube videos if you, if you can. Now, here are a few good things that just works for me. Like my mic is an USB mic. It is connected through that USB-C hub to that you know, Dex phone, like the S9 Plus phone. And that's why I can say anytime, hey, and set an alarm, thing, do everything these are capable of. Isn't that crazy cool? And whenever I make a video like this, I'm doing it right now, I use the Dolby On app to record the voice. But I usually open the script right over here and the uh, Dolby On right over there, and that's it. Now, you're probably asking why Dolby On? Well, the Dolby On actually allows you to export in a much more raw format, like WAV format or web format, uh, the audio so that means you can actually edit the audio a little further than what you can do with the normal audio even though it's not the best experience the best experience you can find on an iPad or iPhone that this app works better here but still it's totally usable I then I upload it to my server and then I download it on the iPad and then I edit it from there and that's why the audio sounds pretty good you can hear it right and this mic is actually powered by the s9 plus because it's powering the s9 plus and i have plugged in a 5 watt adapter because hey that is always on like around 90 percent of battery so just i plug it in a slow charge it will charge slowly yeah you don't need to plug in a fast adapter to do anything now you can still use the phone while using the decks if you can mount them somewhere on the monitor or you know things like that to use it for video calls that's kind of cool some people might find that part quite a bit useful but since i don't use it as for the video calling thing then yeah i can place it on the table or there is a phone mount it is placed on top of that so it's kind of it doesn't matter anyway i think it's a long video but i think it will help you guys a lot in a variety of ways I think I, you know what? I don't want to live without the decks. I just love the decks. Something about it, just I can't stop saying good things about it. Like, it is my childhood dream. Like, using a tiny little phone as a full fledged computer. You just plug it in, it becomes a computer. That's what it is. I mean, it's not exactly a computer computer, but it's quite a bit of computer because it's just, you know, I don't need a computer to do anything because all the things can be done somehow through this phone or this Dex mode. So, it is a computer to me at this moment. Now, there is just one hope that I have. For the future, I want Microsoft to partner up with Samsung to put Windows 11 through VM or things like that. Instead of DeX, we're gonna get full-fledged Windows experience. I think that's possible because, hey, Windows 11 is running on older Snapdragon phones as well. Like even on the S9 Plus with Snapdragon can run uh, Windows 11. I, I don't know the, what's the name of the project, Project uh, Renegade, I, I guess. But if that is possible, then I want Samsung to do it officially, like 
When you plug in, you are not gonna get DeX like a blown up Android, but rather full-fledged Windows experience. Isn't that gonna be cool? Just tell me, and that is my ultimate dream. But I don't know whether that is gonna be fulfilled or not, or maybe some developers would be able to do, but then again, you, you get the point. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you want that thing? Or even tell me whether you are using DeX as your main computer or computer replacement, or you're thinking of doing it. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys want to see more episodes like this, please hit the like button and please do subscribe and definitely visit my website. It's for everything tech. Join David.com, link down below or just watch my other videos. Bye and take care.